Thiopentone. Thiopentone is a barbiturate. It is presented as a yellow powder of 500 milligrams per vial. The dose thiopentone is three to seven milligrams per kilogram. A vial of thiopentone is reconstituted using water for injections. Its mechanism of action, it increases the duration of opening of GABA receptors, leading to hyperpolarization. For its uses, it is used in the induction of anesthesia, in treatment of status epilepticus, and to achieve birth suppression in raised intracranial pressure. For its absorption and distribution, it is 80% protein bound, and of the unbound 20%, only 12% is unionized. It has a volume of distribution of two liters per kilogram, and we'll see a rapid emergence because of redistribution into the body's tissues. When a patient has an acidosis, less thiopentone is needed because it becomes less protein bound. For its metabolism and excretion, it undergoes hepatic oxidation by the P450 enzyme system, and it will also induce the P450 enzyme system. It undergoes zero order kinetics with infusion. Its chemical properties, we see dynamic isomerism with thiopentone. It is a weak acid and when made up into solution, it has a pH of 10.8. In the vial, it is stored with sodium carbonate and nitrogen. It has a pKa of 7.6 and exists as 60% unionized at a pH of 7.4. For its pharmacokinetic effects, for the cardiovascular system, there is a reduction in cardiac output, a reduction in stroke volume, a reduction in systemic vascular resistance, and a possible increase in heart rate. For the respiratory system, we see respiratory depression, and it can also precipitate laryngospasm and bronchospasm in some cases. For the central nervous system, it induces anaesthesia, it reduces cerebral oxygen consumption, and cerebral blood flow is reduced too. For the effect on the renal system, it reduces urine output by increasing circulating ADH. And two points here that are worth noting. It can precipitate porphyria, so should be avoided in these patients. An inadvertent arterial injection can cause digit necrosis and will be needed to be treated urgently. Thank you for watching.